I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think we win though. Nice. What's the healing? 84 million healing? Not even close. We just dominated this team. Holy cow. Look at the healing. Make sure that you use your... Yulon is the first cooldown I use because it's a one minute cooldown. And she actually does a good amount of healing. It, it's rough, but she does a <laughs> she does a decent amount. It's not the greatest, but what she does do is she reduces the mana cost on your enveloping mist by 50%. So enveloping mist costs a ton of mana. So my, I use my Yulon, I get my renewing mist out. And then if they have an enveloping mist and they need the extra healing bonus from it, because they take 40% more healing from me when they have it, I'll put it out there. If they aren't dying, I'll just vivify or Renewing Mist, either one is fine. Um, and then you want to weave in your Manatees. And Manatee is decent. Um, I usually use it when I get kicked or silenced, but since I, or you know anything like that. But uh, if you don't get kicked or silenced and you're a god, you're an absolute insane precog god, just use it when you're about to start healing. I use the refreshing or energizing brew. I don't know the math. I'm sure there's a PVE -er that can tell you the math between energizing brew and life cycles. I don't. The only thing I know is that the the channel for manatee with energizing brew is faster, so I can heal sooner. So, but yeah, I mean that's uh, the rotation. Simple. Put your statue down. Soothing mist. You know, get your renewing mist out. If you're playing Zen Sphere, uh, which you probably should be, there's situations where you won't. Uh, you want to get your, you want to put your, where's this on her? You want to put your Zen Sphere out first, and then do that. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, Thunder Focus is massive. Thunder Focus is this is a big. This is um, Thunder Focus T is making or breaking if you oom um or if like if you oom um in two minutes or if you oom um in five minutes. And then it also helps with like if you have interrupts. So I try to rob this. He runs through it. Got him. So Thunder Focus T empowers like eight different spells. Now, if you play Thunderous Focus T, I'm not playing it right now. But the normal uses, there's a lot of different uses. But the normal uses is, again, if there's kicks available. Oh, oh, we're styling. Let's go. Boom. If there's kicks available, what I'll do is I'll put Renewing Mist out. I'll use the instant vivify and if they're still dying, I'll thunder focus T instant enveloping mist. And that is pretty good. But if there aren't kicks available, you can normally just make it. So you can thunder focus the enveloping mist because, or thunder focus the vivify because it makes vivify cost no mana. So, and I'll have a guide out too. Like I did, I think I'm pretty much done with beta. I think, I think beta is done. I have decided that, Condo of the Celestials is the best hero talent for Mistweaver. Um, I updated all my Mistweaver weak auras. Like, I've done all of it. So, I'll probably make a guide before the expansion comes out. I'm really hoping that, that like, nothing drastic changes. But, I'll definitely come up with a guide. This hunter keeps lining me. I can heal you. I can heal you. But, yeah, that's the gist of it. It's nothing insane. It's nothing, like, complex. The thing about Mistweaver is it's mostly about positioning and not getting kicked. You, you can't get kicked or you can't overlap your cooldowns either. That's the biggest issue. And that's why Mistweaver and Shuffle is like a little rough because if you, you don't have a lot of cooldowns to rotate between. And so if you like, what's a good example? If you life cocoon a priest and they disperse at the same time, the round's over. You lost like <laughs> the round's over because your priest has no cooldowns. You just wasted like your biggest major cooldown. So Overlapping's rough, but it's still fun. Mistweaver's still like a, a lot of fun, but and then also positioning because you don't have a lot of ways to like stop CC or avoid it. What do you think is the best race for Shadow Priest on the Alliance side? Probably Night Elf, Void Elf, and Night Elf. Probably Night Elf is really good. Like I think Night Elf has become like the best race for every single spec that can play it. Shadow Mold is just good. Like that's that's all there is to it. Wrap that.
there, there's nothing else about it. You can shadow meld and people, you, it detargets you from people. It drops people's focus frames. Like it's so good. You just have enough time to like delay damage on you. We just dominated this team. Holy cow. Look at the healing. This, this holy pally are they had to heal <laughs> especially since misweavers have like already so little <laughs> like the game uh, everyone likes different games right or like how they play the game i like to play based around like cc and setups and all that i'm gonna rob this guy down and some people i guess like the pve where you just kind of just do damage and win and i feel like misweaver has always been like the pve type of healer but I also like to win with setups. Like when I, when Harambe gets like fear, fear, and I get into an in cap, into a sweep, into like, a, I don't know, a silence from Ed or something, like that's fun to me. But it feels like they're just trying to stir, like steer away from that. I don't know, but it's confusing because Druid's got an increase of range to their Cyclone, you know? So I don't know, it's just weird. It's just weird. This guy has the orb. I have healing for you. I wish you would like just line a little bit, just a little bit, but that's okay. I think we just, I think we absolutely just dominated this team. Just straight up. Route this guy. In cap him. LOS. Kick that. Don't know how that wasn't a kick. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Going to be honest. Melt here. Or like when I'm playing like DK Warlock with Party Waffles and Rambe. I can kick this guy's next cast. I like the fears into stuns, into in-caps, you know? Stuff like that, I think is fun. It just feels like it's gonna be more PVE, just like do damage than anything else. Uh, this priest does have disperse. I feel like he's gonna die. <laughs> Uh-oh, in-cap. Oh, I tried, I tried to stop that bolt, but it wasn't in time. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> I can rob this guy. Kick that. Good. All right. Ed's just cranking right now. What? Wait, is this Ed's damage? Wait. <laughs> oh, where's my healing? There we go. I, just, I guess I'll just keep Ed alive and then hopefully everything dies. I can sweep everything here. Oh yeah, they're all dead, right? Kick this. Oh, someone beat me to it. Revival everything. Todd this. Oh. I can rob this guy down. Yeah, we're not even... Wait, this. how is this game even close? Oh, we're not getting orbs. I guess I should probably get an orb then. Let me get a uh, thing. Wait, where's that weak aura? Oh, you know what? I bet it's not loaded. No, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Load. So if we disable all this, I wonder if it loads. No. Okay. Meld. Yeah, we're just running this team over. I, no one's even doing... <laughs> no one's doing a single objective. We're just running this team down. They have two orbs now, though. I do have full mana, though. Uh, their healer got the flag again. I feel like it's not ideal. I can sweep everything here. Let's kill this hunter while we're at it. Nope, that's GS from the priest. I'll try to kick the priest next cast. Or dragon. It doesn't matter which. Kick that. Be healing. You know what I started watching? We we started watching uh, all of the X-Men movies. And they are long. All right, I'm going to revival everything in like two seconds. Nice. Oh, they did buff Miss Weaver. Which, which um, it, I, I, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, Miss Weaver is still bad. But, I mean, the buff was good. I would like to test. I don't think it's as good. But I think Lotus... Imp oh, wait. Oh, that's right. They... they Made it on beta, and I think next week they're coming out with it. Okay. But they buffed. So right now, these two are hella nerfed in PvP, and they buff them, essentially. 
So I think Chi Harmony gives 25% extra healing in PvP. And Lotus Infusion gives 4% extra healing in PvP, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know why Lotus Infusion would be... I guess it's a full duration of Renewing Mist, but I don't know. I'm going to sweep everything here. Just chilling. Drink Kakunyu. I'm going to put a hot on this tank super quick. Chi Harmony, just super quick. I guess I'll get this orb. Why not? We're pretty close to winning. Do I use Cell? Nah, I just use uh, Blizzard Raid Frames and I, I have every button macroed. I'm going to wrap these guys so they can't run. So like, it's hard in RBGs, but in normal arena, I don't click my frames. Like I have a keybind for them all. I used to use Cell. I used to use Voodoo as well. Um, When I raided, uh, primarily raided. Support this. Uh, Cell was cool. Voodoo was cool. Uh, Healbot, you know, all that, all that was fun. But it's just not, I better not die before I revival. It's just hard in arena because you really, you really shouldn't be clicking your frame. It's like, but RBGs, it's kind of hard. I, in a, in a perfect world, which I should probably, actually, I do have a completely different action bar that I keep forgetting I have. I would use mouse over macros. Like more than, so far, yeah. I like more than other. Yeah, cells, cells really cool. I like that. I think I used, started out using voodoo. And then I moved to Cell and Grid. Grid was cool as well. But I wonder if this will one shot. I'm just going to cocoon. I Oh, oh, speak, try to make a play. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think we win though. Nice. What's the healing? 84 million healing? Look at that. He Not even close.